Welcome and happy holidays from the Moti Hour. Idle Prep here and we have a very special episode for you guys. It's the holiday season and no matter what you celebrate, I hope it comes with full of joy. I've got some people from the Dantra Stardom Discord server and we'll reflect on this year from the game and with some fun side quests along the way. If you're ready, I'm ready. Without further ado, let's bring the house down. Well, welcome everybody to this very special holiday episode of the Moti Hour. Idle Prep here. Hope you're enjoying your holidays since I'm releasing this on Christmas Day. So, I got a couple people from the Dance for Start and Discord server just to reflect on the 2023 year. So, from my f left of my screen, which is a uh, brawler, just say who you are and where you find. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I'm brawler or Jesse, but uh, you're free to just call me brawler. Um, wait, what was the second part? Uh, you're <laughs> good. Intro? Uh, where do you sure. play? Oh, where do I play? Um, so I usually play in uh, Sun Valley Mall in Concord, California. But I will pop in to the East Ridge Mall in San Jose if I'm like in the area. So yeah. I uh, gotcha. Um, let's see who's next. I'm next, actually. Oh, word. <laughs> um, so my name's Dragos. Uh, I go by a niche. Um, and I play primarily at the Towson Town Center round one. And Freshy, which is right next to me, I believe. All right. Uh, my name's Freshy. I go by Freshy. And I go to Aurora Fox Valley Mall in Illinois. All right, Pringle. Uh, all right, uh, I'm Pringle. You can call me uh, Chip or Lewis. I play at the Auburn Hills Mall in Michigan. All right. Uh, I'm Wumi Aisaka. Y'all mainly see me on TikTok. I mainly go to the Arlington Parks Mall in Arlington, Texas. All right, sweet. Um, so 2023 was a highlight for Dance Rush, as I'd say, for someone who's been playing for about a year. Now, we got some great content for the game. For example, we got some DDR crossovers and the Dance Around crossovers, KC qualifying songs, the 2022 Sparkfest After Party, Sparkfest 2023, and Gym 6, to name a few. Give me your guys' favorite songs from this year and tell me songs you also didn't like as well. Anyone can go can, and hop in. Uh, um, I guess... I want to start... Oh, sorry. I want to start by saying the uh, dance around songs being put on Dance Rush has been just driving me crazy. I've been listening to them at home, and I love the maps. Um, there's none I really don't I dislike. I like all the maps. I like how different each map is. And I've been playing the game for only a year and a half, so I haven't seen much. But they've all been great, and they all have potential to do good in each and different styles I've seen in the community. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Um, in my opinion, there's there's a lot of songs, honestly, I liked. Um, the 2023 uh, Sparkfest, or was it the After Party? I can't remember, but it was the one that had Insist as the first song. The, the entire set list for that was just absolutely amazing. And then right after that, we got the KAC song, After Hours by MK. Easily one of my favorites. My most played on Dance Rush, actually. Uh, I'll go next. Okay. I'll go next. Uh, to be honest, 2023 Sparkfest was really good, but... I feel like Bus Tune is really <laughs> underrated. Like, <laughs> well, the bus in the old bus. Oh, true! Bus Tune Bussin. No, I'm bus saying. Tune Bussin. It goes so hard. I know. No, you know what? I, I was actually one of the people that didn't like it beforehand, and then I actually like listened to the song, and I'm like, okay, you know what? It's it's not terrible. Like it, it's not great, but it's still not terrible. I mean, personally, I think it's better the, than most songs. Yeah, I think the, I think the worst pick of the entire Sparkfest was so fabulous, and that that's not even like really yeah. all that bad. 
It's still yeah. pretty good. Uh, that being, for me personally, I think my favorite thing to be added out of the, like, all year is probably Rock the Party. Or, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Or, uh, Draw the Savage. That was a good, that was uh, a yeah. good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are good ones. I like that. Uh, yeah. For someone who's been around since, like, late 2018, 2019, uh, 2023 Dance Rush? Pretty solid. Um... <laughs> We started off with like Virus Funk. Virus Funk came out in January, so um, that was January. Yeah, that was January. That was so was... good. Hey, uh, I am and... so annoyed that I missed it. I was one stamp away. <laughs> it is. It, it it'll come back soon. I'm looking at the uploads right now. Yeah, I'm awful of names. It was ten months ago, so it, uh, it, it's due for a repeat soon. All right. Uh, the DDR crossover was pretty solid. Uh, Get on the floor was a like a wish list pick for me. So seeing it actually get in the game was something else. <laughs> and the chart's really good, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, but of course, uh, Sharkfest, uh, we got bring it back and. I think bring it back is like <laughs> gonna be like a a mainstay classic at this point because of how popular it is. It seems. But yeah, everyone got really got solid choices in terms of the favorite songs for Sparkfest. Definitely bring me back is one of my favorites. Now moving on forward. So now what? This is more of a personal question for you guys, for each and every one of you. What is a highlight of 2023 for you as a dance player? Just to give you guys a little bit of just something to like brainstorm about. For me, my highlights was making this podcast and also Mistake on the Lake 5. Um, my highlight was definitely TikTok in general. That just blew up for me, and it brought so many opportunities, not just towards me, but towards the whole community of a new wave of dance rush players. And being able to make it to Mistake of the Lake was something that I honestly didn't think I would be able to do, but I'm glad I was able to do. And yeah, that was my highlight. Uh. I guess uh, my highlight was actually releasing my Dance Rush mix, uh, like publicly, um, because that was a project that I worked on in twenty twenty one when Volume One originally came out. Um, I had a a DJ stream back then. Uh, and I, <laughs> I recorded videos of me in my sister's garage, uh, <laughs> just uh, dancing to the charts, and then I green screen over it. Um, the footage for that got lost originally because I had a hard drive failure after that live stream, so it's been it, it was like dormant for. A, over a year until um sprite joined the server and inspired me to like re-export those and i got the mix like re-recorded and i actually got to upload it so yeah that, that's uh that was a pretty big thing for me uh so for me I'd say, because I started really late into the game's lifespan, I started right before the 22 uh, initial Sparkfest. So for me, it was just going through and unlocking like two-thirds of all the songs in the game over the summer. I was hitting the arcade like literally every week and going for uh, hours and hours at a time. And I'm still missing... 
like like I said, I think I counted like a third of the songs I still don't have, but that was that's pretty much all I can say. And I guess generally just improving as a result of playing so much. Uh I think my highlight of the year was definitely Mistake on the Lake Five. I think meeting a lot of people there really inspired me to actually get my style up rather than just, you know, playing the game. I started practicing a lot after we got back from Ohio. So, yeah, that's my highlight. Nice. Uh, as for me, gotta be um, Arrow Eclipse or Eclipse 2023. Um, just really fun participating in the tournament, being able to meet everyone and meeting a ton of new people as well. Free play arcade games were a nice cherry on top as well. And uh, overall, yeah, it was amazing. Also pointed out a lot of places where I was lacking and helped me improve a little bit. So, yeah, overall good time. Loved it. Easily the peak of my entire journey playing Dance Rush so far. Sweet. All right. Now it brings us to our next question since we are very near to the year 2024. Uh, what do you want to see in Dance Rush for 2024? It could be songs, possibly a new cab, said no one ever. Uh, could be completely anything. Can we bring back spinning records, please? Please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not you know no, what I want. Good. Um. <laughs> so, so you know what so... I want. Go on. What? Okay. What I want is you know those little like how like they get like the little people to dance with the sharks. I would love to see more people. That are like influential within the community, like big TikTokers or like just big names within the community being oh. put onto that, which I know like it's guides. hell to never yeah. gonna happen. But I really want that. And also, I've heard about seeing like that one Kazuna AI song having the custom dance pad chart to it. I want to see more of those because that looked really cool from what I saw. So. That's my take. Well, for me, as someone who's obsessed with the Dance Rush, like, original soundtrack, I hope that they announce Volume 3 next year, because there should be enough songs uh, to cover, like, uh, to cover an album, I think, by then. Because uh, Volume 1 released with uh, 65 songs, and then Volume 2 released with 75 songs. So, <laughs> uh, there, there should be enough by then, hopefully. But we'll see. I will also say, like, I know people have been saying this for a long time, but Party Rock Anthem needs to be added. <laughs> and honestly, just, yeah. just more licensed. <laughs> Stuff in general yes. needs to be added. Yes, but like that will be a dream come true. Fits. Uh, for me, I it, it likely won't happen. Uh, but so I kind of really want, like someone said, spin the spin and record songs earlier. Uh, I want Doobie Doo back. <laughs> I never it's got a bad. chance to play it, and it looks like a lot of fun. And the one it's time I. <laughs> What? It's still here. It doesn't go until the no, end not. of the year. Huh? Do no Doobie Doo. It was oh, really okay, like, no, yeah. no. I was thinking yeah. about Easy Doo Easy Doo Dance, Dance is the no, one that's leaving. No. Feels Do bad. Peace. <laughs> peace. Yeah. Doobie Doo. And the one time I got access to a private cab, it, it it they don't have it on the private cabs anymore. It taunts you every time you log in, but you oh, can't yeah. play it. <laughs> <laughs> and that made me so mad. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, doobie doob. I think it, it got removed like sometime in April of 2021, I think. That yeah, sounds my, the, my friends who got me into the game, they told me that was like their song and they would constantly try and compete to upscore each other. So that's part of the reason why I wanted. But the song itself just sounds good and the chart looks fun. So I'm a little bit upset that I'll never get to play it. 
Honestly, I feel like we should have more auto songs in there. Because a lot of her music, I feel like, kind of actually fits shuffling. Like, I think Usewa is alright. I think some for us, some for music, like, works really well, in my opinion. We just yeah, need more licenses in general. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the well is getting dry. I'd say for auto, I think, uh, the fuck, what song was it? There's always, I think it was like Odo or something like that. Oh, yeah. Odo, Odo and Ready Made, that's what I'm thinking of. Those two songs are would like fit a lot better than Osewa. Like, out of all the songs that they picked, it was Osewa. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Moving forward, um, next question I have for you guys is like, what are your plans for 2024 as a member of the Dance Rush community? Hmm. Honestly, play more. for me, what? Yes, and also for me specifically, I want to be able to make Dance Rush bigger on other platforms like YouTube and Instagram. Like Instagram, I've seen already has a good space, but I want to make it bigger because on TikTok <sighs> it's huge, but I don't see much of an audience on like YouTube. And I want to make it where it could be bigger in, like, different languages or different cultures so we could get as much players as possible. For me, That's what it's... I want to do for... Sorry, I was done. Okay. Uh, for me, it's just going to be to try and continue to uh, improve my style. Uh, this game kind of got me into dance in general, but... I really lack the uh, determination to actually practice when I'm not playing. So what I'm going to try and do over the summer is on top of trying to get the rest of the songs that I'm missing, I'm going to uh, try and enroll in some like dance classes as well to just improve my style. Well, I would also uh, want to continue improving my style. Uh, I ha I do have like some like dance background before getting the dance rush. Uh mainly in like uh Filipino folk dance. So um but um like after watching like more of the like community submit their videos and expressing themselves, I want to I want to be more, um, what should I call it? I want to be more risk taking in my, in, in like, in how I, uh, do my moves and stuff. Just so it look, it looks, it'll look nicer and it'll wow the audience more, I guess. Yeah, for me, it's probably the same thing as Brawler and Pringle, just ramping up my style. Because I'm, I'm planning to get the big prize one day at a tournament one day. So, yeah. Love to see that. Love I mean, that. I've already said my part, but it's, um, you know, just play more, get better at the game, improve my style. Same thing as basically everyone else. Yeah, that's all we can go up from there. Um, and mm -hmm. my next question is, so since it's the holiday season, do you guys have any of those favorite holiday songs, like Christmas to holiday themed songs in Dance Rush? Yo, December in Stroudsburg. <laughs> December in Stroudsburg. I don't, oh man, that's a chart and a half. I mean, at least it's not thank you and Merry Christmas. I argue that's like the worst song in the entire game. He bad. Oh. Now I you, love that song. Now, would you consider Crystarium a Christmas song in Dance Rush? I've never heard. played it. I would, I, I would call it Christmas adjacent. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll be real. I think I've played it like a total of twice. I only played it like twice, so, too. <laughs> I don't have much frame of reference for that one. I mean, the reason why I ask, because in the album artwork, is because it has that little snow globe, so that's why I ask yeah. if, you, if you think it's Christmas or Christmas adjacent. So, that's up to you, the, uh, also the listeners who are listening to this podcast. 
Well, that's all I got for the questions to reflect on the 2023 year. Now this little fun section is a little quick, little like knowledge, test your knowledge for in terms of the game for Dance Rush. So first question that I have for you guys, what date did Dance Rush, or better yet, what year did Dance Rush Stardom come out? And bonus points if you get the actual date. 2017, 2018. right? 2018. 2018. Yeah, it was March. five years ago. It's like so. March. Oh, okay. It's like March 18th, 2018. Yeah, five years ago. So, yes. Yeah, so gotcha. Correct, the correct answer is March 23rd, 2018. So, next oh. question. In terms of uh, the easy parts of Dance Rush, as in the game, as in the charts, what is the only level one in the game as of 2023? Oh, lady, 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 oh, lady, lady. <laughs> Damn, y'all got that so quick. You hear that, Ken? That's the only level one. That's the only level one, Ken. I know you're listening. <laughs> oh, Ken. Oh, Ken. That was a call out. That's a, that's, that's a big call out. <laughs> I mean, it's literally one of the attract mode songs anyway, so you'd know pretty much instantly. And also, the, every single normie that I see at my round one plays Lady because they don't know how to... Use those buttons to navigate, navigate the, the menu. Song <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I've I've had someone do the running man tutorial twice instead of playing an actual song. That is legit sadness. Anyways, since okay, next question. All right, so Camellia has has a couple of songs in Dance Rush. How many songs do they have in the game, and can you name them all? Uh, the three. Story. I think it's like. Midnight yeah, Midnight Amaretto, Amaretto. Sweet Bordeaux, and uh, Lindworm. Uh, yeah, Rip It Off. No. No. Rip It Off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sweet no, Night. Forget, they're also Sakura forgetting the Sakura, Sakura, Sakura reflection. reflection. Yeah. So what's our final answer? It's like it's five. 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 Six or seven? I know there's a couple I'm forgetting. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say six. Uh, the Nightmare One. Rip It Off. Lindworm reflect. I'm gonna go with five. The correct answer is actually eight. So you got small oh, steps. What? What? Eight. Small oh, right. Oh, small steps. Oh, oh, small steps. <laughs> Ooh. You also got uh, Midnight Amaretto, obviously. True Blue Starter Remix. Right. Rip it, oh. rip it off now. Oh, rip it off. I forgot about that. Uh, Yudi's Nocturnal Days. Right. Soccer Reflection Starter Remix. Lindworm Starter Remix. And. Then Sweet Bordeaux Nightmare from Spark Fest 2022. Dang. I'm a fake fan. Yeah. Live, laugh, love, Camellia, everybody. All right. And then the next question is, what was the main intent reason that Dance was starting to release? To celebrate the 20th uh, year anniversary of Dance DDR? DDR. Something yeah. like that? Yes, that is I correct. think it was. Okay. Dang. <laughs> I remember, I think it's Mickey said on the server that they wanted to compete with someone in China that was releasing a similar game as well. <laughs> I think I know what game you're talking about. It's just like, this. it's the same concept, but bigger. Oh, they yeah, it, it has like an entire like lengthwise stage. instead yeah. of Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dance Live or something. There's actually uh, one location spot in like somewhere in the United States that I saw it, like which is pretty funny. But anyways, I digress about that. All right, final question for this little fun part: Who voices the announcer in English? Uh, this is the the Shoda 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 F Shoda F. Fu oh, I can't yeah. remember his last name. Shoda Fujimori. Shoda Fujimori. I mean, Fujimori. Is it actually? Yeah. Yes, so the correct answer is yeah, what you guys said is basically uh Soda Fuji Soda Fujimori. Um so Oh that that's awesome. Yeah, even though when you, you hear him say this is today's bonus, he sounds depressed as heck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, daily bonus. Daily bonus. But yeah. This is today's bonus. Uh but yeah, so that's basically all of the questions I have. But one thing I wanna do is to wrap up this this very special episode. I know it's a very short episode for the podcasters listening here. Um, so going into 2024 and you see these new rhythm gamers coming on, coming to your local arcade and they come to go to dance rush and basically they wanted to get better. Like what's like one piece of advice they would, that 
that you would definitely say to them once they like get comfortable with the game. Learn the three basic moves: running man, T step, and uh, Charleston. Uh, I would say if you're struggling with a move, try practicing it off pad until you like understand the fundamentals of how it works. And then when you're actually comfortable with figuring out how to do it, um, then you can bring it in game and then see if you will perform well. And if not, just keep so, practicing. So what I would say is that Remember that it, it's an actual game, so you want to have fun with it. And once you do that, you'll find your type of dance, like hard style, jump style, just normal shuffling. Once you find that style, that's when you're going to want to work more into like learning it on YouTube or going to classes or whatnot. That's what I would recommend. Uh, I'd say like loosen up and learn to use the space of the pad. I see a lot of people um like how i started and how my friends started we people tend to stay in one space in the pad and and just kind of sit there and hit the notes instead of like and as i've progressed i found it's actually easier to play the more you loosen up and the more you let yourself move around up and down side to side instead of staying in one spot even just from not even a style perspective just a scoring perspective it just does becomes easier and more fun if you don't just stand there. Uh, yeah, honestly, just practice your fundamentals off the pad. Like, make your own unique style, and then figure out how to incorporate it on the pad like that. Yeah. Very awesome. Very awesome. So that's all for this very short episode of the Moti Hour. I know it's very short because, you know, it's the holiday season. Go enjoy yourself. Go enjoy your friends and, and your family's company and all that stuff. But also make sure you join the Dancer Star and Discord server. That's discord.gg slash dancerush. Once again, discord.gg slash dancerush. We have people like us who are on the server. You can basically talk about the game, talk about anything, and also post funny cats if you really want to. I love my <laughs> funny cats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. We love our funny cats. Oh hell yeah. Oh the hell funny. yeah. The cats. So make sure you go join up. And also make sure you're following the Moti Hour at the Moti Hour on Instagram. You can also hit me up over on direct messages to inquire about future opportunities on the podcast, or you can email me at the Moti Hour at gmail.com. Once again, the Moti Hour at gmail.com. And make sure you're following the podcast and make sure you give it a rate and let me know what you want to see next. Well, guys, thank you guys for joining and happy holidays to all. All right. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Happy holiday. Mm, bye. Merry Ch Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Good morning. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> all right. Happy holidays to all. Hey, Idle Prep here. I know the episode just ended, but I want to give my extended thanks to everyone who has been supporting the Moti Hour and all that stuff. And I just want to give a little backstory. Uh, September of 2023, I never really knew I was going to start this podcast. It was an, an idea that was in the Dance for Starting Discord server for a while before I even started this game. And I wanted to just decide, you know what? Let's have it on my hands and see how I do. And luckily, you guys have been showing me nothing but support. And I've been getting a lot of verbal feedback and a lot of feedback from my guests on what to see next for the Moti Hour in terms of content. And I'm here to happily announce that the Moti Hour will be returning for a season two in 2024. And you're probably asking me, Idol, what is next for this podcast? for the Moti Hour Season 2 in 2024. Well, I have an answer for you, my friend. So it's not only just we're going to interview communities on how they form and all that stuff. We're about to get a little deeper with this game. We're going to talk about what we concern about this game, our like, little wish lists that we have for this game, lifespan concerns, and not only that, community-driven based things like tournaments. So like, 
you know if I've competed at Mistake on Lake 5, and I'm planning to compete more in 2024 as well. So, we're going to talk about the ins and outs of tournaments, like interviewing events and tournament organizers, and also interviewing some judges from Dangerous Stardom tournaments in the United States as well. So, and not only that, more community-driven stuff, like conventions. There's also the part of the conventions that are always fun, like the arcade, and you see a dance rush cab. So, the first episode, I'm happy to announce as well, we're going to be taking a trip to the Music and Gaming Festival. So, you guys are in for a treat. So, as always, make sure you're following the Moti Hour on Instagram. Make sure you're following the podcast. And, as always, let me know what you want to see next on the Moti Hour. This is Idle Prep signing off for 2023. Happy Holidays, and wishing you a happy, safe, and healthy 2024. Till next time.